and welcome to another episode of Five Minutes with Freed. I'm your host, Michael Freed. I'm a litigation partner in the matrimonial and family law firm of Berkman, Botker, Newman & Shine, with offices in New York City, Westchester, and now Long Island. So during the next few weeks, I'm going to be introducing you to all the new members of the firm that, have, that are working on Long Island. So today, my special guest is Keith Rieger, and Keith is the new, uh, one of the new partners in Berkman, Botker, Newman & Shine. So Keith, welcome to Five Minutes with Freed. Thank you. Happy to be here. So Keith, let's, let's start from the beginning. Uh, first of all, how many years have you been practicing matrimonial law? Um, practicing matrimonial law, probably 40. 40 A long years. time. And 40 or, yeah, 40, 40 years. And yeah. how, did you, how did you get started? In, in, why did you start in matrimonial law? Totally unintended consequence of, uh, as I tell people when they ask me, I tell them I went to Hofstra Law School and not Harvard. So I didn't get to pick my path, it, it picked me. So I started doing corporate real estate and then I was clerking for a judge. Then I went to this firm to do corporate real estate. And six months after I started working there, the senior partner unfortunately had a heart attack and passed away. And the other partner who I was with about Six or nine months after that, went in with a matrimonial lawyer named Elliot Samuelson, who's about 20 years my senior. And next thing I know, I'm doing matrimonial law. I never intended on doing it. I like to tell clients when I'm going to trial that I never took the course in law school. So give them some confidence. So it's, it's probably the last thing I thought I would be doing, but it's where I landed. Okay. So, Keith, what can you describe your approach in representing a client? Well, I think I have the same approach you do, since we worked together in the past for many, many years. Uh, we try and be reasonable. I mean, we, we know how to litigate. We ultimately know that, you know, other attorneys respect the fact that you can litigate, because I think that helps you settle cases when they know that if you have to, you will, as opposed to that you're never going to do it and they can push you around. It's important the judges know you'll litigate because it's how they react to you too. But we tell people from the first time what reasonable and fair and, and advice is so they have reasonable expectations. So Keith, tell me, let's put aside the practice of law. Tell me about you as a person. Tell me a little bit about yourself. A little bit about myself. You know, I, I went to college. I'm a Long Island boy. I went to grew up here. Went to college at Stony Brook. Went to law school in Hofstra. I've always worked on Long Island, and I found that to be very again not intended. When I when I got out of law school, I wanted to work at a big Manhattan law firm, but didn't get the job. So I clerked for a judge in New Jersey, and then got a job in a match in a, in a small firm. Like I said, originally did corporate real estate, and ultimately matrimonial. So I found that to be, again, not intended, but to be a wonderful way I landed because I was able to also combine that with having time for my family. Well, Keith, we've come to the most important part of the show. If you've seen the show in the past, at the end, we have the question of the week. So this is your question of the week, Keith Rieger. How do you think your colleagues in the matrimonial bar would describe you? Um, well, I think, uh, I guess I can only say how I, I think, and I would like to maybe des describe, you never know a hundred percent how other people see you and you also, and there's always, because we're in a, a tough practice, there were always going to be a few people who may not see the wonderful person I really am. But I think most people would say that I'm reasonable, that I that I'm, I know what I'm doing, uh, that I understand that it's a matrimonial case, that you know my own client is not always telling the truth, that there's his side, her side, and sometimes even if it doesn't mean someone's lying, but sometimes people's perceptions are different. And I try and appreciate that. And I try and compromise where I can get something in exchange and not argue about something that is not important. I think I, I think people, know that I'm going to give where I can because 
you know, if you're going to settle a case, nobody wins 100% and nobody loses 100%. There has to be that give and take. Keith Rieger, you've said it all. You are a uh, consummate professional, um, prominent matrimonial attorney, and we are so happy to have you aboard at Berkman, Bodger, Newman & Shine. And I want to thank you for being a wonderful guest on 5 Minutes with Grieve. Hey, thank you for having me.